Hi, I'm Mike McKenney, and I'm an artist, and you can see some of my recent artwork behind me. I enjoy creating something new, something unique, something beautiful that no one's ever seen before. I receive inspiration from within in the form of hunches, ideas, feelings, that I should try one material or another. I receive spiritual inspiration in the same way. In my spiritual journey, I have been led to discover wisdom and sets of tools that have actually made a difference of me experiencing more joy in my life. My spiritual path has been one of experiencing more joyful vibrations in my experience. I'd like to share with you some of the wisdom that I've gained along my path, and I hope that maybe some of it can help you as well. There are many realizations that you need to understand along your spiritual journey, and the very first one is to be your own guru. Don't do something just because somebody tells you to. You have to resonate with it. You have to feel it inside that it's the right path for you to go. Don't even do what I say if it doesn't feel right. We all have to take responsibility for our own actions and walking our own spiritual path. We must take an active role in our own journey. Nothing is going to magically happen to us. We have to do the mental work involved. And it does take mental work. When we buy an appliance, it comes with a user's manual, right? And a troubleshooting guide, which tells us how to fix things if things go wrong. But we physical human beings, we don't have any such manual. When we're born, we have to live our lives trying to figure it out on our own. Some people naturally do, but that wasn't me. I spent decades trying to connect and find my inner joy. It's important to realize that no matter how hard you think or reason, you cannot think your way to connection. It has to be felt. Some people call that connection our inner being, our soul, God, Jesus. Use whatever label you like, but you have to feel it. You have to get in touch with good feeling. Thinking uses the wrong part of your brain and actually impedes your progress along your spiritual path. The only indicators we have as physical human beings are our feelings, because our five senses are limited to a very narrow range of what we can perceive. Follow your feelings. Some people never figure that out. In my journeys, I have discovered wisdom and sets of tools that have worked wonders in my life. First, this book, Ask and is given by Abraham Hicks. They are the originators of the information of the law of attraction. You can find them all over the internet, but I strongly urge that if you're not familiar with them, you start by reading this book, which lays out the basics of how the universe works and how it works for you. Look, you don't start learning math with calculus, right? You start with arithmetic and work your way up. Therefore, start with the basics, and you'll find a suggested reading list for Abraham Hicks below. My second main influence was this book, Whole Brain Living, by Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor. She's a scientist, a neuroanatomist, a brain doctor. And one morning she woke up and she found herself having a stroke and she realized what was happening to her in real time. And the discoveries that she made through this process are just remarkable. 
you can find her inspirational story uh, at her TED Talk with the link that's listed below. If you haven't read either of these books, I strongly suggest you do so. Both are completely compatible with each other, and I'm going to be heavily referencing them in our talks. I'm not affiliated with either organization, and it's not my intention to teach or, or substitute their knowledge. But we do have to have a framework of understanding in order to continue our discussions. You know, tools are for working with, and it does take mental work. There's no magic transformation that's going to happen to you. But if you do the mental work correctly, you have a high probability of success. And whenever I discuss change, I always hear people say, well, it's hard. Well, sure, it's hard if you're not using the right tools at the right time. You know, if you're trying to put a nail into concrete with a screwdriver, you're going to fail and give up in frustration. But if you use a hammer to drive that same nail into a piece of wood, you're very likely to succeed and therefore feel good about what you've accomplished. One of the topics we're going to explore is that everything, and I mean everything, is energy and vibration. Our lives are not really about the physical situations that we're in, trying to control them, to win or lose, but our lives are actually about trying to control the invisible flow of energy during those situations. We are multi-level beings living in a multi-level universe. And we, us as human physical beings, live in two different worlds at the same time. And that is what we're going to discuss next. I welcome any positive comments, questions, or discussions below. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe is always appreciated. Please keep watching, we have a lot more to discuss.